Hi YouTube and welcome to this tutorial on how to send emails with Python. In the last tutorial we worked on just sending a simple email. Um, now what we're going to be able to do is send to multiple recipients and also send an email attachment uh, with a pandas data frame. So this is pretty cool because I actually use this in um, one of the functions for my job. Uh, so I'm uh, responsible for sending out data all the time and I created a program to do it uh, in the form of a pandas data frame and it's really useful and it can uh, it, it can work pretty fluidly so uh, to start we're going to need to import a few different libraries so we're going to need to well, actually one other library we just need pandas as PD and it comes standard with Python so we don't need to worry about that and we'll also import um, email dot mime dot multipart uh, import mime multipart so this is going to be our different container for our message to allow us to send a pandas, da pandas data frame so right here we just sent plain text we don't want that anymore we want a different container um, so we're going to say message is equal to mime multipart alternative and uh, we'll just go right up here and create an empty pan or a pandas data frame from a dictionary. Actually, I think that'd be a little easier. So I'll just do it from here. So we'll just say column one, and that's going to have just some random values there. And then let's do column two, and that's going to have other random values there as well okay so we'll create this by saying df equals pd dot data frame from the dictionary and what we're going to do right now is convert that to an HTML message for our email with the pandas2 HTML function okay and uh, we'll just embed this in our message. So I'll just say um, df part is equal to mime text, and this is where we're going to embed it. Um, df h html in the form of html, and that should do it. Now, uh, at the end, right here, we just want to attach. our part okay and the last thing that we're going to deal with today is um, it, right here we just sent one recipient so I'm going to delete our one recipient and I'm going to put in um, I guess recipients list here I'll put in my regular email And I'll also put in, uh, I don't know, just another, just another email. So test email one two three at gmail dot com, um, just for test purposes. And we can also make sure that right here, our we had just a single recipient. What we're going to do is join these with a comma to mimic uh, you'll, you'll see a lot of different email systems use different uh, syntaxes for this but for each one we want to join with a comma to separate for each recipient so um, after after this I'll I think I'll just bring this right over here and put in my password and we also have to change this to plural so once we do that, I'll save it, minimize this, type in my password over here, and also we uh, need to get rid of the recipient, I'll delete this, the recipient uh, input right here to our function. I just got rid of that, and I'm going to press F5 to run it, shortcut. And it says we sent the mail. Cool. So I'll check in my um, programming for finance. 
window. And right here, we have our email. So uh, that's what it's going to look like, our pandas data frame in HTML format in the email. Uh, and here's our subject too. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. So this email was completely random that I put in right here. But uh, yeah, so that will conclude this tutorial. And I hope it was informative. Thank you and have a great day.